Hi everyone, I'm checking in on you. How are you doing these days? I want to inspire you, as I always try to, to stay in calm during these times. Now here's the thing. We know what fear does to our body, right? It literally shuts down our kidneys and it shuts down our adrenals. And this is what I see. We get mental and we get into fear. So what's the first thing to do when you're looking at any situation for your life, for your life in particular. You have to really look at that and what it is. So this situation takes so many aspects of our life into account that it's, it's confusing. So if this was an issue with health only for most people, that you were afraid of your health, that would be easier to speak on, to guide on, and to look at. Because then it would all be about the immune system, it would be about how to take care of your family if there was a viral load or a bug or anything else going around, how you could build your own strength from the core, but this is also, it could be your lifeline, it could be your house, it could be your business, it could be your work, you know, it could be your faculties, like mental faculties, you know, I see a lot of people, you're crammed up in small apartments with three, four kids at home, nobody's going to school, nobody's going to work, mom and dad are trying to do that. The, the work from home together with school, you know, homeschooling the kids. This is chaotic from the outside. <clears throat> so the first thing we need to look at is how can we deal with this from the, <clears throat> excuse me, from the inside? How can we deal with this from the inside out? And here is the thing. It's all about your calm. It's all about how you declutter your mindset. It's all about how you schedule and become neat. This is about decluttering your whole life. If you have people around you right now that is bringing the fear to the table, you ain't going there. If you have people in your life right now that is stressing you, making your life harder in any way, sorry pal, this ain't the time for us to interact. This is the time to make sure that you walk through in peace. Why? Because your health depends on it. And this is the really important message that I want to put out there today. We can sit here and talk about the world and why it is the way it is and what this is doing to our society. That is good. But most importantly, if we can't get our own crap together within ourselves, get a grip, get a handle on our life and our energetic field, we're not gonna help anything. And there's not gonna be any positive, growth-worthy solutions or outcomes. But this is what I see. Look around in gratitude and see what's going on right now. So much to be grateful for. People are spending more time with their closest family. Children are seeing their mom and dad all day, which they haven't maybe in years. People that you haven't connected with because we're bored, we keep calling people, Skyping, connecting, maybe writing that journal, doing the home yoga, starting that Spanish audio class that you never, you never got to because you were too busy. And no, I'm not saying we should be happy for not having a job to go to or that we're quarantined or housebound and shut down. No, I'm saying this is reality right now. So when we look at that, how can we respond? How can we healthfully respond without reacting from fear? The world is always filled with fear if you're looking for it or taking it in. The world is always also filled with love if you're looking for it, if you're taking it in. And you can, in fact, stand in peace in the midst of chaos because you're centering yourself. And we need to do this on all levels. <clears throat> First, cut the crappy food. Cut the crappy food. When you need yourself the most, the most important thing is that you're there for you. So take care of you first by eating good food, fresh fruits 
and vegetables. Make your meals from scratch. That's self-care. Number two, meditate. Every single day, meditate. Do it simple. Sit in peace. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. And just sit with it. Just calm everything down. Your immune system loves when you're calm. Why? Because your adrenal loves it. And the adrenal is a major part of your immune system, of kidney filtration, of moving your lymphatic system, of taking all the waste out. Then spend some time decluttering. Clutter is a nuisance for the brain, for the subconscious. When there's a lot of stuff in any room, even in the brain, that's not supposed to be there or that's not in order, it's hard to find anything. It's hard to see clearly when we're cluttered. So this is also a time to forget everything that we have created a wishful thinking towards in the sense that if you have a goal right now, forget it. Get back to the now moment and just think about life. We're alive. We're living. We have opportunity. We have possibility. We have creativity. We have tomorrow. We have today. We have each other. We have air. Not always 100% fresh, but the freshest that we have. So we need to embrace that life right now. Embrace life and let go of the fear. Let go of the what if. And let go of letting yourself get lost into these scenarios of what could happen right now. There is a lot of things that could happen. A lot of amazingly good things can happen. And I think if we unite together right now as a group of people who are thinking positively, eating better, serving our family better, focusing on how we can serve. How can we help someone else? Number one focus right now, how can you walk this day and be of service from your heart, not, not expecting anything in return? Just knowing that you were there for someone, knowing that you made a difference. It matters that you're here. And I know a lot of you have a very high anxiety level right now. And I know a lot of you, my members and clients, high level or of low, meaning depressed state. And this is also the mass consciousness right now. We need not tap into that. There is nothing to fear except fear itself. Once we realize that, we are empowered. We are limitless. We are always limitless through our energetic field. And I know that this is a more of a spiritual talk, but hey, people, you know how you feel when you're in fear. And you know how you feel when you're in love. Which one do you choose? So I would say sit down every single day and feel that love in your heart and think, what can I do today? How can I serve today? And that in itself will help us get through the situation sooner rather than later. But believe this, we will get through this. So this is what I wanted to stop in to remind you of today. Wake up in gratitude. Write a gratitude journal. Drink your lemon water in the morning. Drink cucumber juice or celery juice or orange juice or both in the morning. Cleanse your system. Be grateful. Spend time with those who you love. Write a letter to someone you haven't spoken to in years or pick up the phone, make a phone call. Create something that you used to be good at that you haven't done in a while. Draw a drawing, paint a painting, knit socks, do something or make a video and put it out on Facebook Live so that you can share your story with other people because ultimately that's all that we are. We're just all other people sharing our stories. And I've been out in stormy weather before. If you know my story, you know how sick I've been, how many years I've been bedridden. I've been through a lot of this. And believe me, it's a lot of the same fear, the same feeling of not having control that's sick 
or so-called sick people feel. So we can also use this to become more empathic towards those who are not going to work every day or running around measuring how many miles they can jog or how many how, how heavy lifts weights they lifted at the studio last week. There are people out there that this is their lifestyle. They never leave their home. They never feel good. They always feel in fear and they're always depressed. And this is what we need to come together towards also. Look in your life and see if there's someone in my life that is isolated on a regular basis. Let's then, we can all feel it right now, right? I know you can feel what it feels like when something's off, when you feel that the world is off limits in a sense. Okay, I'm rambling on. I love to talk to you like this. And really, if you have any questions about your immune system, about this time, just, just post it below. Let's stay connected. My life has also changed. Like I said, I'm, I'm quarantined with my son. I'm housebound for now. I, my work days have changed completely. I'm working more with members. There has been a withdrawal in clients, of course, because people are more mindful of how they spend their money. And I understand all of that. So let's just ride this out together. And from this, something new will be born and it will be better and it will be greater and it will be as beautiful as we deserve because we all deserve magnificent life. So I wish you a beautiful day today. Make sure that you make it as beautiful as you can wherever you're at right now and step out of fear. Step into creativity and enthusiasm of simply being alive. It's a blessing. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon.